guys, welcome back to ITS Tactical's Knot of the Week. Today we're going to be working with square lashings, and lashings are commonly used in Boy Scouts for, amongst other things, their pioneering projects and things like that, but very applicable to everyday use in case you have to bind two posts together in a, I guess, in a cross formation. So if you had posts that overlap, such as this, you'd use a square lashing, which we're going to be demonstrating today. Now, the way that the square lashing starts is with a clove hitch. So if you don't know how to tie a clove hitch, be sure to take a look at our previous Knot of the Week episodes and uh, get some instruction on how to make a clove hitch. But the clove hitch is actually going to start on the post that is that lies on top of the other, just like so. And after you have your initial clove hitch, you're going to wrap around the post. Let's see if I can do this backwards here. You're going to wrap around the post, like so, um, ensuring you are tightening and uh, maintaining tension on this the whole way around. So you're going to do this approximately two to three times. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it for three, just for good measure. And once you've made your third wrap, like that, you're going to do what's called frapping turns. And frapping turns are just going to take, let's see, I'm going to go around the back here, just like so, before I make these frapping turns. And frapping turns are going to come inside, just like this. And again, you're tightening the whole way through. I'm going to do four of those. So that is what it looks like now. We have our frapping turns and our initial turns. And I like to just go back through everything once again with just a single turn around everything, or each, uh, each part of the post here. So when you end up, make sure it's tight. But now when you conclude the knot, or the lashing here, what you're going to do is tie another, another clove hitch. So let me demonstrate that. Tie another clove hitch here. Make sure that's tight. And you can tuck the end of your clove hitch uh, back into the lashing somewhere. Um, that looks like a good spot right there. Just like so, and then you can cut this rope or continue to, to knot it somewhere or weave it. But that is the basic configuration of a square lashing. Now again, this is used for two posts that need to be stacked on top of each other. And we're going to continue with our lashings the next couple of knots of the week and uh, show you some different configurations such as a diagonal lashing and we'll even get into uh, constructing a ladder with lashings. So hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.